Hi guys, Steph here. Now, look what we've got for you today. Absolutely beautiful fountain pen. What we have for you here, this is a dual fountain pen. Now, unfortunately, I do not know a great deal about the dual pen company of London. Um, only, well, enough to say that I believe the dual pen company of London were one of the longest manufacturers of fountain pens in England at that particular period. Now when I say that particular period, I believe they made pens from sort of the 1800s. Um, and I believe, again, I may be wrong, through to 1950s. This particular model is the dual number 56. So that's the model of this particular pen. Um, I'm dating this pen around about 1940s maybe even through to the 1950s but for all intents and purposes I'm going to say it's round about the 1940s as I say it's the number 56 it comes in this absolutely beautiful stunning mauve marbling um, well not just mauve there's sort of flexes of black in there as well but an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen um, some of you people will have seen this pen make a very quick appearance on one of my other videos but since then I've restored it, cleaned it, installed a new sack etc so it well deserves a sort of video review of its own so as I say we've got this dual number 56 the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 121 millimeters capped around the diameter of the barrel it's around about 11 millimeters in diameter as i say it comes in this beautiful mauve coloring um, it comes with gold filled trim if we show the end of the barrel there sorry the end of the cap you can see it's got this quite a thin cap band to the end of the barrel and then if we take you up to the the clip you can see a very sort of standard clip of that particular period this um, what they term as a ball clip and then to the very top of the clip there you'll see the word dual and then if we take you to the very top of the cap you can see it's got this sort of flat I say flat it, it's, it's very very slightly peaked um, sort of cap stood to the top of the cap there and then you may have noticed if we take you to the barrel you can see it's got this it's actually quite a long lever to the barrel there and again if we keep it sort of still to the end of the lever you'll notice the word J again which represents the dual um, pen company so as we say it's the dual pen company of London number 56 if we show you the the barrel imprint there it's got a lovely clear barrel imprint and the, the imprint reads dual um, and then next to the jewel it has uh, registered and then if we take it underneath I believe it says is it sort of made in England and then to the very bottom we've got the number the number 56 so let's give it a slight swirl again I'm hoping that's nice and clear for you there as you can see a lovely lovely clear imprint so all in all a lovely lovely pen um, again this pen although we're saying it's from now and about the 1940s the quality and the well the quality of this pen is just as good if not better than some of the major manufacturers of fountain pens of that particular period although saying that I believe you know the dual pen company um, they were a major manufacturers of fountain pens anyway and they made pens in lots of different colours lots, lots of different styles lots of different models but this specific one as you can see a very very nice and a beautiful colour as well so let's unscrew the cap as always let's give you a couple of little twirls show you the pen in different angles beautiful beautiful pen let's take you to the section there 
you can see it's got this quite long, well, quite a longish section. It's slightly tapered. It has this little ridge towards the nib. And if we show you the nib there, you can see the very recognisable on these pens, the dual 14 karat super nib. So let's give you a little bit of a different angle for you there. So it's got the correct nib for this pen. And a lovely thing about this, the, the nib, it's quite a large nib as well, which I quite like. Now, let's show you a sideways view there. And you can see everything is lovely and clean, uh, including the, the feed underneath there. You can see it's got quite a standard or a, a classic comb feed underneath the nib there. And again, everything's been lovely lovely and clean so ready to go to any new customer lovely lovely pen it's slightly on the small side as far as the pen's concerned but even with my large hands it's still a nice comfortable pen to hold it's still a nice size okay yes i can hear you people shouting there down down the video yeah let's see it writing so let's put the nib in the ink pull on the lever that, that'll do as i think for now it's only for a writing sample let's just give it a quick wipe with a tissue pop the ink to one side and like always in most cases the pens are actually tested live if you like on video so what we do we keep our fingers crossed and let's see how the pen writes so what we have is a a dual fountain pen and it's made from the well this particular jewel is made by the dual pen company and they were from from London the number of this particular model is the the 56 now as I'm writing I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it's writing very nicely and first and foremost it's writing I would say with a fine line however what we want to know is does it have any flex so what I'm going to do now is apply a little bit of pressure and there you can see we are now getting some variation in the line so yes it's a slightly flexy nib now let's do some figure of eights and there you can see on the downward stroke we can actually get a nice little variation in the line so I'm saying the pen is going to is writing with a fine line when we apply a little bit of pressure we can get a much broader line um, so from fine to broad a lovely variation a lovely nib to write with nice and smooth as well so that's the writing sample so there we have it that's the dual number 56 fountain pen in this gorgeous again let's show it to you in this gorgeous mauve and sort of flexes of black marble absolutely gorgeous in lovely lovely condition so as always i hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as i enjoy showing them you people and don't forget don't be shy leave a comment but for now, I'm just going to say bye-bye for now.